So welcome back guys. In this session, I'm going to show you how we can print this particular star pattern. Okay, the first thing what I've done here is I've put a box around my star pattern and written down how many number of rows is there. Okay, so that I will represent it by using a for loop with i values. Okay, then inside every i loop, okay, I'm going to see how many columns I want. So I'm going to represent all the columns as j. So inside the i loop, I'm going to write the j loop saying that the j should run from 1 and it should end till 9. Okay, so like this, i and j loop we have taken care of. Okay, that is the first step. Okay, next, uh, I'm going to write the j indexes where I want to see the stars. Okay, so when i is 1, I want to see only at fifth index, that is this one. So I have written down like this. Then when coming to the i equal to 2, I want to see stars at 4 and 6. Okay, this part I have to leave it blank. Okay, but uh, just to get this shape first, what I will do, I will write down this entire condition. That is, assuming that I want star at 4, 5 and 6. And when i is 3, I want star at these indexes. When i is 4, I want the j indexes this to print the star. Okay, then i is 5, I want this, all these indexes to print the star. So, the conditional statement for that particular thing is like this. Okay, if j is greater than or equal to 5 and j should be less than or equal to 5 when i is 1. Similarly, when i is 2, this will be the j condition and i is 3, this will be the j condition. Okay. Now, to print this particular star, I will have come up with this equation. That is, if j is greater than or equal to 6 minus i, because 6 minus 1 will give me 5. And here, this side, uh, 4 plus 1, okay, that is going to give me 5. Okay. Then, it keeps on incrementing the i value and we are going to see these particular numbers 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay. So, if that be the case, we can see stars everywhere. Okay. But now, I want to skip a star over here. Okay. But as soon as I skip a star, again, I will print a star. Okay. Inside that if condition. So, what I will do? See, this entire thing is to print the stars. Okay. In this particular triangle. Okay. But to skip a star. Okay. See, now, this entire condition and along with that, I'm going to give one more condition. If uh, uh, some, let's say, if some particular number value, if it is one, okay, uh, I will say like, like this. And if this particular number value, okay, if it is one, okay, then only you print the star. Okay, if it becomes zero, then uh, print space like this. Okay, that is that is what the condition I'm going to keep. Okay, but uh, every time I have to start with uh, a star okay so what i will do inside the i loop i'm going to initialize a value like this number is equal to one like this okay and uh, along with this condition i'm going to say like this use and statement one more and statement like this here i'll and statement and when that particular number value is one because it is already initialized to 1, so it is taking as 1, okay. When all these three conditions satisfies, then only you print star, okay. And what I will do after printing star, I will only intentionally make this value of that particular number, okay, to 0, okay. So, if in case that particular number is 0, it will come to the else block, okay, and it will print space, okay means it will skip a number over here and again as soon as it prints space intentionally we will only make the number value as 1 again ok so number equal to 1 so put semicolon over here ok so let me just keep these values in lower cases like this ok see guys after printing star intentionally we only have made the number equal to 0 Okay, so that it comes into the else block and it prints space for us here. Okay, then as soon as it prints space, what I am going to say, the number value is 1 again. So, it will come here and print star. Okay, so this is what we are going to write the code. This is how we are going to write the code. And this also, let us make it into a lower case like this. So, let us do it then. Here, I have written down the i and j loop. So, i should be less than or equal to 5. Okay. And the j loop, j loop should be less than or equal to 9. Okay. So, 
inside the i loop i am going to initialize a value that is integer number okay is equal to 1 okay when this particular number is 1 okay only that time you are going to see the stars okay when it becomes 0 you are going to print space okay so now let's come inside the j loop and uh, if condition of j loop so i'll say j when it is greater than or equal to first value is 6 minus i okay and j value should be less than or equal to 4 plus i okay and one more value that is when this number is 1 okay when this number is 1 okay only that time you are going to see the stars okay and uh, it says uh, and operator cannot be applied to a boolean value okay so what i will do here uh, let us change this value to boolean okay b o o l e a n boolean number is equal to let's say it is true okay so like this we can change one means true so i have made it as boolean value itself okay so as soon as then this particular number value is true okay it has to print stars but uh, as soon as it prints star what i will do i will only intentionally make the number value into false okay means zero okay so as soon as the number becomes false it is going to come inside the else loop okay and it is going to print space for us okay so as soon as we get a space okay we will only intentionally change the value of the number to true okay so let's save this program and uh, let's run it one more time okay like this so you are going to see a perfect shape like this with uh, one star skipping in between like this okay so this is how you are going to do this particular pattern okay so let me just uh, like this okay so thank you very much for watching this video guys i'll see you in the next topic